Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona. Thank you very much for being here on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. My apologies for the delay. I was having issues logging in. Estaba teniendo problemas conectándome. So guys, okay. you ready to start? Yes, we're ready. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. So who can tell me what was Thursday's topic? Who remembers Thursday's topic? ¿De qué hablamos el, el jueves? The present. Present. Yeah, simple present. Yeah, conversation. Uh, maybe we have a conversation with, with a, a Greg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. So, simple present or simple past? Simple past. Simple past. Uh -huh, simple exactly. Past. So, we were working with simple past. And today, we're going to be working with the past of B. Now, who can tell me when do we use simple past? ¿Cuándo ocupamos el pasado simple? Simple past. Cuando se... Se habla de when the answer is yes or not. Pero terminaron. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, I hate pizza. For me, pero ya, ya no estoy comiendo. Ajá, uh -huh. exactly. So we're going to say it with finished actions. Okay? Remember, finished actions. Action. Cuando ocupamos simple past? In action. Finished, action. Finished actions. It's exactly. So, vamos a ocupar el simple past cuando una acción termina. Ya está terminado. So, for example, how do you say, yo me levanté a las 4 a.m. I woke up at 4 a.m. That's right. Exactly. I woke up at 4 a.m. Um, yo comí frijoles y huevo. Hoy, I ate, I ate beans, beans and, and eggs rice. this morning. Ajá, uh -huh. beans and eggs today. Puede ser today. hoy porque quizás ya cenaron antes de la clase para no tener la panza vacía, ¿verdad? Good. Now, how do you say, no cené? I didn't dinner. I didn't eat dinner. Eat or no. have? I didn't. I didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't eat dinner. I eat didn't dinner, have dinner. Or I didn't have dinner. It could be either or. Cualquiera de los dos están bien. I didn't eat dinner. Mm -hmm. I, for example, I ate, um, what did you say? Eggs and beans. It's going to be the affirmative. I didn't have dinner. No cené. And how do you ask something? ¿Cómo preguntamos algo? ¿Cenaste? Did, did you eat? Did you, did you have a dinner? Did, did you, you have dinner, correct. Did you eat sería comiste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's did right. Did you have dinner? So, we're going to remember this, guys, because simple past is very important. A tip. La estructura de simple past es la misma La misma, la misma que simple present. Solo que los verbos van en pasado. Es lo mismito. So, si ustedes aprenden el simple present, pueden manejar el simple past. La diferencia es que tercera persona ya no cambia. Aquí en simple past, no le ponemos ni le quitamos S, porque el verbo va diferente, va en pasado. Claro, en forma básica. All right? Now, right. what you need to do is learn vocabulary all right you gotta learn vocabulary ¿Por qué? quienes de ustedes sienten que aunque sepan la estructura no les cuesta mucho crear oraciones ¿A alguien le pasa um, a me for example me teacher mm -hmm. and you know what that happens eso pasa porque nos falta vocabulario lo cual está es, es aceptable y es entendible Alright. Así que 
si quieren aprender, si quieren evitar frustraciones, porque la estructura es súper simple, vocabulario. Okay. Mañana o pasado les estaré pasando un video donde les doy un montón de recomendaciones. No me quiero ocupar todo el tiempo en eso. Les doy un, un heads up. Tienen que saber que es muy importante. All right. Número dos, tienen que ocupar vocabulario que les sirva. No vayan a, a estar metiendo cosas de física cuántica o de o sea, algo que no vayan a ocupar. Si estamos con el verb to be, apréndanse adjetivos. Happy, sad, tired, um, arruinado, digo, engaged. Uh, it's it. I'm kidding. Yo estoy, no lo ando ahorita, pero I am engaged. So, so vocabulario que vayan a ocupar. Lo siguiente es que lo tienen que poner con algo personal. Eh, háganlo personal. Creen contexto y ejemplos de su vida. Por ejemplo, ¿qué, desayunas, qué desayunó ahora, Suni? Pancakes. Ok, so how do you say, yo desayuné pancakes de desayuno? I ate bre uh, pancakes for breakfast. Ajá, uh -huh. good. I ate or I had pancakes for breakfast. All right, so háganlo que ustedes siempre se lo recuerden. Y vienen más y más y más tips que les voy a dar, pero, guys, no quiero que se vayan a frustrar decir yo no puedo porque piensan que es el inglés cuando ustedes tienen mucha responsabilidad de aprender vocabulario. Perdón por la cachetada, vean, no es así que suave, suavecito. So guys, you gotta make it happen. Now, we already finished with this. Let's go with the past of B. If you have any more questions, let me know. So right now, let me share the screen. Here it is. All right, so right away, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Ob Acá. Ob. 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 Participants will have a chance. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation. To listen to a conversation where past of B is used. Where past of B is used. 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 Good. Again, aquí hay un typo, está mal escrito, pero sería. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation where past of B is used. Go. Participants will have a chance to listen to, to, listen to a conversation where past of B is used. 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 Good. So, vamos a escuchar una conversación donde el, el verb to be va a estar siendo ocupado en pasado. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be, guys? Is. Ajá. Uh -huh. Good. Am um, is are. That's right. So, what is the past of the verb to be? Was. As and where. And was, where. Was, 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 where. So, We're going to get to that. We're going to use was for I, he, she, it. I, he, she, it. We use was. And we're going to use where for you, we, they. Good. Let's pay attention to this real quick. So pay attention to the pronunciation, please. Participants will have a chance to listen to a conversation where past of B is used. Hi to all, welcome to this session. We'll continue talking about simple past, but now I want you to find out the simple past of B. Listen to the conversation and figure it out. Don't miss next class.
this class where I'll explain the passive B. Let's listen. Hi, Don. How was your vacation? It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Lucky you. How long were you there? About a week. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. So what was the best thing about the trip? Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. All right, guys. So here we're going to have uh, the past of B in context. Here. Here it is. So let's go ahead and recap and, re and repeat after me, please. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi, Hi Dan. Dan. How was your vacation? How was your how vacation? Was vacation? vacation. Uh -huh. Good. If you pay attention, I say like, how was, I don't say how was. No abro la boca totalmente. How was, was, how was your vacation? How was your vacation? Good. Tatiana Beltran, help me read, please. Hi, Dan. How was your vacation? Hey, Dan. How was your vacation? How was your vacation? Okay, good. Me llega que todos quieran participar y ayudar la Tati. Tati, just you. Hi, Dan. How was your vacation? Good. Vay. Vacation. Vacation. Now, everybody, it was excellent. It, it, was excellent. Excellent. it was excellent. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. I went, I to, went to Hawaii, Hawaii, with, Hawaii my cousin. with my cousin. 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 We had a we had a great time. We had a, we great, had time. a great, time. great time. Now everything. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. It was, it was excellent. excellent. I, I went, went to Hawaii, Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Cousin. 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 No mencionamos la u. Try to repeat the way I say it. Cousin. 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 Good. Adonai, le toca. Everything. It was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Okay. It was, it was excellent. I went to Hawaii with my cousin. We had a great time. Good. Everybody, lucky you. Lucky, lucky you. you. How long were you there? How long were you there? How long were you, there? There. How long were, you were? How long were you there? How long, long were, were you there? there? Good. Luis Molina, help me. Lucky you. How long were you there? Lucky you. How long were you there? Good. About a week. About, about a week. week. About a week. About a, about a week. About a, about a week. week. Roberto, about a week. About a week. Good. Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Fantastic. Fantastic. Was, the weather, okay? Was, the weather okay? Was the weather okay? Was the weather okay? Was the weather okay? Lino, fantastic. Was the weather okay? Fantastic. Was the weather okay? Nice. Not really. Not, Not really. really. It was cloudy most of the time. It was, it was cloudy, cloudy most, most of the time. Of the time. Of the time. But we went surfing every day. But we, but went, we went surfing, surfing every, day. every day. Nice. We went. We went sir. We went surfing every day. We, we went, went surfing, surfing every, every day. day. The waves were amazing. The waves, the waves were, were amazing. amazing. Sunny. Not really. It was cloudy most of the time. But the wet. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. Go. Not really. It was cloudy the most of the time. But we went surfing every day. The waves were amazing. Nice. So, what was the best thing about the trip? Oh, oh what was the was, best, best was thing the about, best the, trip? about the, trip. the trip? Emerson. Yes, teacher. Help me with this one. So, what was the best thing about the trip? So, what was the best thing about the trip? Right. Everybody, well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. 
Well, well something true. Well, believe, 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 believe it. Believe it. Good. Listen. Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Well, something incredible happened. You won't believe it. Good, good, good. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you for reading Mirroring Everything. Gracias por leer de la manera que tiene que ser. That's the attitude. Esa es la actitud. Good. So, remember, was and where. Okay? Was so, was and everybody read with me. In this session, participants will study the past of B. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions question and short answers will be taught. Questions question and short answers answer answer will, will be taught. Good. So, vamos a ver, guys, el past of B y las preguntas cortas. Y también, obviamente, it's answer. There we go. Please mute your microphones and pay attention to this real quick. In this session, participants will study the past of B. Questions and short answers will be taught. Hello, nice to have you back. I'll make reference of the past of the verb be. Let's start. Past of be. Were you in Hawaii? Yes, I was. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? Yes, we were. Were your parents there? No, they weren't. How long were you away? I was away for a week. How was your vacation? It was excellent. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. Am um, and is, was, are, were. To ask questions using the past of be, we do it this way. Was, were, plus subject, plus complement, plus question mark. Were you my student? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Was she sad? Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they late? Yes, they were. No, they weren't. Remember, we used be to express feelings, conditions, states, and descriptions, either in present or past. Now you try answering the following questions. Were you my student before? Were you happy yesterday? Were you late this morning? All right, guys, so let's go ahead and continue. Here, we're going to be answering some questions. What do you think the structure is? ¿Cuál creen que es la estructura para el pasado de B? Analyze it. Anybody? Subjects. Oh. For questions. Ah, okay. Uh, was or where? Was, where, my subject, uh -huh. plus uh, complement, and? Plus question mark. That's right. So, how do you say, estabas en Hawaii? Were you in Hawaii? Hawaii. Okay, estabas en mi casa? Were you in my house? Were you in my house? Were you in my house? Aha, uh -huh, very good. Estabas en clases? Were you, Were you in class? my class? class? Were you in class? Good, good, good. Um, ¿Estabas triste? Were you, Were you, you sad? sad? Were you sad? That's right. Um, ¿Estabas ocupado? Were you, Were you busy? busy? Were you busy? Busy. 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 Como que vamos a hacer bicicleta, busy. un poquito vibrado. Busy. 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 Good. So, what other questions can we can we make? Esto es estabas, ¿ya? estabas tú, estaba él, estaba ella. So, help me with some more questions, please. Mm -hmm. Pues hombre, tío, en español está bien. Las pasamos al inglés. <laughs> Mm 
Mm. Estaba bolo. Were you drunk? Ahí sí, ve, ahí sí. Ya lo pueden. Were you in the church? Good, good, good. Were you at church? At church. Estabas church? en la iglesia. That's right. Now, give me some more. Deme unos tres más, por favor. Church. Were you with my friend? With your friend? Good. Were you were you with your friend? Muy bien. Estabas con tu amigo. Good. Another one. Was I watching TV? Um, muy buena, pero si pues, nosotros sí. le ponemos un verbo con ing, sería past continuous. Ya nos pasamos a otra estructura. Pero muy buena pregunta. Were you watching TV? Estabas viendo televisión. Esa viene más adelante. Good, good, good. Me llega. The last was one. She, was she... Was she... Oh. Was she in the party? Nice. Vamos a ponerle aquí, were you in the party, nada más para continuar con la estructura. Pero se puede decir, was she in the party. So, guys, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre where, escrito así, y where, escrito así? With the pronunciation. Where, um, where. The first is a, a which question, and uh -huh. the other is the pass of oh, the verb to be. Exactly. So, la primera es where, de dónde, una WH question, como Sunny está diciendo, y where es el pasado del to be. So, how do we say, cómo, cómo sabemos la diferencia? Contexto. Ok. Now, how do you say, dónde estabas? Where are you? Dónde estoy. Y en pasado. Where were you? Where, 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 where were you? Where were you? Solo quiero que vean la diferencia. No nos vamos a meter a los WH questions todavía. Pero contexto. So, guys, ¿cómo contestamos no estas question. yes, no questions? So, Luis, were you in Hawaii last week? No, I wasn't. Ahí está. No. I wasn't. wasn't. Very good. Sunny. Yep. <laughs> were you busy this morning? Yeah, I was busy. Yes, <laughs> I was. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Oh, yes, I was. ¿Por qué contestamos con I? Porque cuando ocupamos you, nos preguntan a nosotros. So, guys, this is what I want to do. I'm going to open up the break rooms. Voy a abrir los break rooms para que se empiecen a hacer un poquito más de preguntas. Pueden ocupar estas mismas solo para practicar. Por ejemplo, um, Tatiana, ¿were you in Hawaii last year? No, I wasn't. Very good. Now you ask me the following question. Ahora tú pregúntame okay. la siguiente, del chat. ¿Cuál chat? No, es que sí, o sea, sí le voy a que caen, pero, pero no. Ajá, ábralo, no. Um, espérame ahorita. La segunda. Ajá. ¿Cuál, cuál es la segunda? Are you in Where my house? My house? Are you in my house? Ajá. In your house. Ah, ya, ya, la vi. Ya, ya. Were you in my house? No, I wasn't. Yo guarde. Ok. So good, guys. Um, este chat va a ser como su machete. ¿Ya? No pueden ir a la guerra sin machete, que van a salir sus leña. So, open up the chat, accept the invite. Good job, Tatiana. Accept the invite y empiecen a preguntar una y una y hagan ustedes preguntas. I'm going to give you three minutes. Ok. Come back. Oh, give me a second. Let me open up this thing here. Oh, here you are, breakout rooms. I'm gonna have four breakout rooms. Fig join, please.
All right. Um, depression or El Salvador. So the <laughs> Maybe lose the You're ready. Okay. Okay. Were you were you in Hawaii? No, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. And you? You have the list of the of the question. Do you have the list? Were you in, in your house? Cuando? When? Where? 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 Were you in your house the other night? Yes. Yes. I wasn't. Okay. Yes, I, yes, I was. I was. Mm -hmm. so, wasn't es para negativo. No, I wasn't. Okay. Pero necesito la lista de las preguntas. Está en el chat. Open, open the chat. Mm -hmm. Pero no me aparece. ¿Ve? So, me aparece vacío el chat. Okay. No. So... Como que tengo el chat solamente entre Luis y yo y no tengo el demás. Ah, now I understand. All right, no worries. I'm going to send it to the group, to the WhatsApp group. Ok, no hay problema. Voy a copiar las preguntas que están acá en el... Eh, eh, Don't worry, buddy, I got you. Igual ya las mandé. Okay. Por cualquier cosa está en el grupo. Thank you for letting me know, okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Uh, en WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Ok, no tenía abierto WhatsApp. Right. Uh, where you go? Was she was you sad? Were you sad? Were Were you sad? I I wasn't. Good. I wasn't. But you can I, say I, no. I was not sad. Yes, that's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Ya vamos a pasar a las long answers. Ya casi. Okay. Good. Okay. It's good. Okay, uh, I don't know. Huh? Tell me, tell me. Were it were you busy? Mm -hmm. Were you busy? No, I didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. No, I was. Okay. I was. Um, okay. were you drunk? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I Maybe. wasn't. <laughs> A little. Okay. okay good. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Good guys, continue. Let me check the other groups. Cuando se las terminen, vayan okay. cambiándole. Last month? No, I wasn't. From, from San Salvador. Ajá. Okay. Good, good. <laughs> We're going to get to long answers. Ya casi vamos a llegar a las long answers. That's good. Este, okay. Sonny, eh, where you watch TV yesterday? Mm, mm, mm. No le metamos verbo porque ahí nos pasamos a past continuous. Oh, okay. Um, were you in... Supermarket last last night. That's correct. Were you in the supermarket? Good. In the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was. Yes, I was. Good. I was. Continue, guys. Continue making them up. Okay. La otra parte. Okay. How was your vacation? Yes, I was. Ah, pero ahí está preguntando. Eh, no, con, no. Son preguntas y respuestas largas. Uh -huh. Ajá, puedes decir, it was excellent. That's right. Ya, ya vamos exactamente, cuando regresemos al main group, vamos a empezar con las long answers. Um, how are you doing? ¿Cómo van con, con estas? Let me see what you do. Enséñenme por ejemplos, please. Ok, hemos practicado, teacher, este, mm -hmm. las que estaban acá, las que estamos compartiendo ahorita. Yeah, that, that's good. Quiero escucharlos. Ok. Eh, were you in Hawaii, Tatiana? 
No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was the weather okay? No, it wasn't. Were you and your cousin on vacation? No, I was. No, we. No, we were. No, no, we wasn't. No, we weren't. Mm, no, ¿cómo? No, no, ah. We weren't. Ah, sí, sí. No veo bien. Ajá. Ya, ya. No, we were. Weren't sería. Ajá. No, we weren't. weren't. Yes. Correct. Okay, good. We're Just give me a few more seconds. And we'll go back to the main room. Continúen en estas. No se pasen todavía las uh, los long answers. Ya vamos a ver eso ahorita. Okay, pues. All right. Okay. Hey. You busy? Yes, I was. Nice. Ajá, uh -huh. continue. Were you at the laundry uh, last night? No, I wasn't. Mm. Were you happy this morning? Yes, I was. Um, were you at the shopping? Uh, uh -huh, at, the, at the mall, puede ser, at the mall. Okay, okay. All right. Were you at the mall last weekend? No, I wasn't. Good. Guys, let's go back to the main room. You're doing a great job. Alrighty. So guys, now, um, good job. I was checking on what you were doing. Estaba viendo lo que estaban haciendo. And you did a great job. I was. Uh, no, I wasn't. Yes, he was. Muy bien. So what we're going to do for the past, for the last minutes, lo que vamos a hacer por el último cuarto de la clase, es que ahora vamos a tener long answers. Okay? So. Okay. Vamos a, está, estuvieron muy bien en el was, he. So, cuando ocupemos was, le vamos a poner I, he, she, it. Y vamos a ocupar el where para you, we, they. Vamos a mantener esa base. So, entonces, si nos preguntas... Si nos preguntan, por ejemplo, were you in Hawaii? Estabas en Hawaii. Yo puedo poner, yes, I was. Fue genial. It was great. Great. Uh -huh. Vean en el chat. Entonces, ¿ya pueden ver todo el chat de nuevo? ¿En todos yes. los ejemplos? Yes. yes. Ok, good. Good, good. Entonces, yes, no. I was. Y luego tenemos sujeto was y el complemento. Entonces, la estructura para la respuesta larga sería subject plus was or where, dependiendo de, del pronoun que ocupemos, más complement. ¿Ok? How do you say, estabas en Hawaii? No. Estaba en eh, Panchimalco. <laughs> más local, de consume local. So, ask me please, were you in Hawaii? Were you, in Hawaii? Were you in Hawaii? No, I wasn't. Para que practiquemos la respuesta corta. No, I was. No, I, I wasn't. was in Panchimalco. Y ahí ustedes le pueden cambiar. So repeat with me, please. No, I wasn't. No, no I wasn't. wasn't. I was in Panchimalco. I was, I was in Panchimalco. Panchimalco. Good. Were you in my house? 
Where Repeat after me. You were you in my house? Were, were you, you in, in my house? house? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. How do you say? No, I wasn't. Yo estaba en mi casa. I was in my house. I was in my house. Ah, uh, teacher. I was mm -hmm. in my house. And uh, the, the question, were, were you in my house? Mm -hmm. um, the fact that the sujeto. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Where, You're welcome. Where are like you in my house? Now, tengo una relación amor y odio con este teclado. Así que, my apologies. <laughs> All right, thank you for letting me know. Were you in my house? So, guys, this is what we're going to do right now. Vamos a seguir practicando. Were you happy? Podemos meter emociones. Were you happy, sad, excited, right? excited. married, encadenado, etc. <laughs> Then you get. Perdón, me están viendo feo. Um, you're going to give a short answer and then a long answer. ¿Estamos? Ok. Respuesta corta y luego respuesta larga. Go ahead and accept okay. the invite. Let's go ahead and practice and I'll visit you. There you go. Can you hear me, Lisa? Hello? Good, good.
is to try during the afternoon, uh, watch TV or read, to sometimes to do exercise or, or read something, right? But to, I, I, am, I, I am not sad. And you? Were you sad? No. No. I wasn't. I am happy every day with okay, my good. family, with my, uh, with me, my activities. Mm -hmm. I, I have a ocupado. What did you say ocupado? O oh, una mente ocupada. Busy. Ah, uh -huh. so busy. I have a, a I have mind a, busy. I have a busy, busy mind. Busy a mind. busy mind. Or yeah. my mind is busy. My okay. mind is busy. That's right. Uh, okay. I have a very much project. Uh, I don't. I don't have any. I don't have time for sad. For oh, sad. Nice. <laughs> for I don't sad. have time to be sad. To, to be, be sad. sad. Oh, I don't right. have time to be sad. Correct. Okay. <laughs> good. You're giving good. very long answers. I like that. Okay. Good. All right. So continue, guys. Try to give a short answer and then a short answer. Okay. Uh, give me another example before I check other group. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Were, Thank were you. Were you with your friend? Were you with your friend? Cuando? Add where? a little bit of compliment. No, where? Uh, no, no. Cuando? Where is the? Were you with your friend? No, no. I know. But what about? Were you with your friend? Porque si tú me preguntas, estabas con tu amigo. Maybe uh, at cuando? the party. There you go. Ah, where, Ah, okay. I don't know. It's necessary where where you with your friend in the party, for example. It can be a comp oh. a compliment. Were you with your friend uh -huh. last night? Okay, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Were you with your friend on in Sunday? In the moment. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Were you with your friend uh, this afternoon? That's good. This okay. afternoon. No, I. I I weren't. Uh, I doesn't. I I wasn't. I wasn't. I was. I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay, I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay. Uh, were you in the gym training? No, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Don't I wasn't. training. No. Uh, no, no, I, I wasn't because uh, only I practice exercise, but running or jogging, but no gym. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good. Continue, guys. You're doing a great job. Okay. Ahí vamos. Okay. Uh, where are you? Hey teacher. Hi teacher. Hey. hey. Hi teacher. Okay. Uh -huh. Continue. Let me check how you've been. Okay. Okay. Um, were you in Nicaragua last year? No, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. I was in El Salvador last year. Good. El Salvador. The pronunciation. El Salvador. Okay. Uh, teacher, we have a question. Go uh, ahead. Sir, uh, when you say La Antigua Guatemala, it's uh, it is a name, right? You can yep. change. Yes, you can say uh, Antigua Guatemala. Okay, you can it, say the old Antigua. Mm -hmm. Antigua. <laughs> okay. Okay, Thank you. Sonny. Were you in the... Were you with your friend last year? Yeah, I was with my friends last year. Fantastic. Man, you're great. Let me check another group. You're doing great. Okay, thank you, teacher. Estoy diciendo a vos, a vos estoy preguntando. Ya. O sea, tenés que responder no, pero tenés que decir yo estaba con mi abuela. Ya. Okay. Hace un traje la pregunta, güey. Okay, were you with mom, with your mom? 
No, no I wasn't. Uh -huh. uh, I was with my younger daughter. Nice. Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> What is the meaning? Okay, este, te dije que estaba con, con mi hija más pequeña. Mm -hmm. Younger daughter. Or youngest daughter. Young ah. Okay. La más pequeña. Esa es hija pequeña. La más pequeña. Es un superlativo. Ya vamos a llegar también. Don't worry. Oh. About Good answer. Now, um, Lino, please ask something to Tatiana. Okay. Mm. Uh, were you were you in San Salvador, Tatiana? Cuando? Póngale un tiempo. Ayer, yesterday, two weeks ago. Okay. Were you in San Sal in San Salvador uh, last week? Mm, no, I wasn't. I was in Chalatenango or oh, in Chalatenango. No sé. In in Chalatenango. Are you Chalatenango. from Chalatenango? Or it's just no. an example? An example. <laughs> okay, good example. Alrighty. Uh, in a few minutes, we go back to the main. Let me just check one more group, okay? Okay. 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 All right. I'm here. Let me check a couple of examples, please. One from Emerson and one from Lisette, and then we go back. Uh -huh. ¿Quién es el pionero? La víctima. <laughs> Yo le tengo que hacer una pregunta a Emerson. Yes. Okay, Either. Emerson. Uh, where... Where... Were you at the park uh, last week? Mm -hmm. Last week? Yes. No, I was here because I'm in quarantine and two months ago and I can't go out. Okay, good. And how do you say yo estaba en casa? I was in home. Mm -hmm. At home. Good, good, good. Me gustó como mezcló los tiempos. Good job. Now, Emerson, now you ask Lisette, please. And Lisette, were you with your friends in, in Suchitoto last month? <laughs> mm -hmm. No, I wasn't. I, I stay in quarantine. In, I, I was in, in quarantine. I wasn't in quarantine. Under quarantine. Under quarantine. Mm -hmm. Good job. Guys, let's go back. Okay. Okay, so good. Emerson and Lisset. Got it. Alrighty, we're just missing one couple. There you are. So, guys, listen up. Um, I was checking your progress. Estuve viendo su progreso. Están muy bien en cuanto a la base. Super solid. O sea, que sí entienden la base. Acá es donde ustedes tienen que practicar. No es tarea de por sí pero sí les he mandado tres links, tres o cuatro links, donde si tienen tiempo, ustedes pueden hacer esos ejercicios para que vayan tomando un poquito más de estructura, vocabulario, y simplemente practiquen. Right? Uh, se vende en las academias que en tres meses ustedes están hablando un idioma y es posible si estuvieran en los Estados Unidos. Y si practican 24-7. Así que si tienen tiempo, no se queden nada más con, con la clase. Ocupen esos links, voy a tratar de darles ese tipo de links y vocabulario. 
right? Vocabulario, vocabulario, vocabulario. Aquí para en videos les voy a mandar uno que ya grabé, solo que lo grabé como, como 100 veces. Tengo que ver el mejorcito y ahí se los voy a mandar. Es as far as uh, learning vocabulary. All right? So guys, on behalf of English Corporativo, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Acuérdense de chequear la plataforma antes de la clase. All right? Get out of here. Take care. Bye -bye. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.